Last week, on August 27, 2008, the Union Leader newspaper of Manchester, New Hampshire, reported that the Manchester Police Department was stepping up enforcement of a total overnight curfew in all city parks. Not an emergency measure, certainly, just iron-fisted draconian government control of open spaces ostensibly owned by the public. Simply further compliance indoctrination of peaceful citizens by an increasingly authoritarian and paternalistic government that has already been legally absolved of any obligation to protect us regardless anyway. But it's all for our own good, of course. No more shortcuts home after a night on the town. No more early morning joggers. No more second shifters taking their dogs for a walk. No more equal 24-hour access for bikes to public bike paths as autos have to public auto paths. No actual crimes, of course, not even reasonable suspicion. No exceptions. Just get off my land! <laughs> um, whose land? The penance for violating this unposted regulation? A sweet 50 bucks to the city's general fund. Mo money, mo money, mo money. Today, September 5th, Dave Ridley will fulfill a promise he made in an open letter to Chief Mara by entering Veterans Park before the curfew lifts this morning at 7 a.m. But not for nothing. Dave and some friends will engage in a park beautification project. In addition to the fourth performance of Outlaw Puppet Theater. I think that in a free country, you don't need the government's permission to get to, oh, to start a business. The Forbidden Zone. So Dave, you haven't had much luck provoking absurdist enforcement so far. Any predictions for today? Uh, I would, uh, I'd be surprised if they made an arrest, but they might. Um, usually, I think if they were going to do that, they'd probably give some kind of warning, you know, like call you up, hey, please don't do this, that kind of thing. Um, but I don't know, anything's possible. So I'm just assuming on an arrest, but, you know, I think there's a chance of it. It's, it's probably 30%. Everyone's probably protest the cops come out to try I think we should be yeah. unequivocally in the park. This might not be part of the park. Oh no, we, we should, need to get like in the middle of the park. We should be in the park. Like this the might grass. be not part of the park here. At yeah. least, at least okay. up into like this gate. I, I do think it'd be good if there's one person who stays outside the park the whole time, uh, so that you know, so that they can um, do whatever might need to be done. Especially the, the person with a camera probably should stay outside. Like you might want to stay outside. I don't know. Um, well, we should all go on the grass. That way, yeah, we're unequivocally definitely on the park. <laughs> if that sign's gonna be standing around, we need to put it in the car. <laughs> all right, I don't want, I guess... that's littering. Yeah. All right, so we have an hour and three minutes to pick up litter and do a puppet show? Yep. Yeah. yeah, normally when you're like a revolutionary movement, you shouldn't have anyone in charge, right? But, uh, <laughs> no, he's not in charge. But since yeah. we're trying to trigger an attack, I guess I should say I'm in charge, you know, so. I was doing a month of time today. Constitutional session. Anybody else want to hold a sec? Because it's a, it's a senseless law, like a lot of laws are senseless. So they have, uh, it's like people make laws without yeah. any, uh, just without taking people in your mind. Here. So, I this is a basic, very humanitarian thing, and yet it's illegal to do. It makes no sense. What you, what is your Won't even charge the city. Will they be charged instead? <laughs> oh, it's yeah, right No shortage of crap to pick up, that's for sure. Manchester has a curfew in the parks up until 7 o'clock in the morning, and it is 17 right now, so we are be breaking it from likely in the park. We've been um, watching, and four or five cops have driven by. Some of them slowed down and watched us, but nobody's come to stop us yet, so looks like they're uh, not enforcing the law again.
Morning, ma'am. Good morning. Were you aware you're breaking the city's curfew? Nope. Oh, there's a park curfew from 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. And it's only oh, 6.25 now. What do you think about that? I'm just walking through to catch a bus. I don't know. <laughs> Good morning, ma'am. Morning. Were you aware of the city's recent crackdown on the uh, park curfews? I it's know. It's illegal to be in the park at this at this moment. Were you aware of that? I, I know they said seven to eleven, but I come down here at six to eight every morning. But I don't go in there. I stay out here, and I've never been bothered. Okay. Well, so. um, well, I, I, I assume this this walkway is inside the park, so. You can't even walk through it? Uh, that's my understanding. And the, if the cops were here, although they seem to be ignoring us because we're protesting it, but if the cops well, were here... Well, I'm protesting it, too, because I, I do nothing. I come out here, I read, and uh, have quiet conversation with people that are like-minded and not doing the crazy stuff that some most of the people in the park do. And I leave at 8. So so you... Uh, I've been doing it for two years. So you don't approve of the curfew? No, not the... Not Put up a sign with all the park ordinance on it, it would probably be as high as it's post here. You got that the guy that just ran through, he wasn't wearing a vest, he's <laughs> jogging, he didn't have an orange vest on, that's illegal. Dude, we should make a giant um, he's finally breaking the law. And this just kind of popped up this whole ordinance thing yeah, like as an opportunity. I'm always looking for, you know, uh, yeah. until I get arrested, I know, until I finally succeed in getting arrested, <laughs> I'm always looking for a new law. Uh, so you haven't been arrested break. yet? Yeah, I was arrested once for distributing leaflets. Oh, he doesn't turn. <laughs> there he is. Nope, he's turning. Oh, oh, oh. We're gathering over here. We're going the wrong direction. <laughs> Morning. Morning. Are you guys aware of the curfew crackdown by the city? Yes, I am. What do you think about that? Uh-uh. It's not right. These people are homeless. They have nowhere else to go. <laughs> they didn't even pay taxes to be on this park. What the hell are they doing? I can tell what they're doing. Well, there you have it. Capricious non-enforcement of a recently specifically targeted law. Apparently, you're good to go if you just inform law enforcement ahead of time that you'll be using your parks during the arbitrary curfew hours. So, keep those calls and emails to Manchester police coming. Then he looked at his watch. <laughs> They're not illegal anymore. disobedience, an egregious act, he entered an IRS office in Keene and attempted to hand a piece of paper to the workers inside the IRS office. The Department of Homeland Security is crawling all over the IRS before he gets there. The arrest of Russell Canning triggered three more people like Russell Canning uh, to go out and, and uh, leaflet inside IRS office. And now I'll, I'll break the fourth law now. And we're in a minute. All right. It's illegal to put anything in a milk container other than milk. So this is a law breaking about to go on here. All right. Lock me up. <laughs> it's illegal for me to hire him at less than minimum wage. Oh, okay. That's what I've just done. I've hired him. I'm going to pay him like six bucks an hour. Yeah, we